Okay, so to start off, I'm at my brother's place right now because the power once again went off. I mean, it just every time there's a thunderstorm in Chicago on the weather, they should just have a little power outage sign. Because that's just like, it's like the third time this year. So I'm just going to say right now, I don't know when this will go out, but uh, if the editorial this week is nothing that great, or if one even pops up or anything, just that's the reason. Yeah, this may delay the last Airbender review. <laughs> no, no, no. Last Airbender is going out. That, that had to be another power outage for that. But the editorial uh, will probably be delayed because I want to use the oh, time gotcha. I would put to that to The Last Airbender because that's I've been building that up like fuck, man, and I'm not all my energy is going to go into that. Uh, but we got the charity drive too and all this stuff, so blah, 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 whatever. That's why I'm here. That's uh, and that's why if the editorial has already gone out, that's why it was probably so late uh, or rushed or whatever. But uh, with that said, okay, we got. Uh, Cora here, and uh, obviously Rob is in this one. This is the final three. <laughs> this is in my place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sort of goes without saying, but uh, this is the final three. This is Turn of the Tides, and uh, holy shit, it's like, where were you episode? <laughs> it's like, I was waiting for this episode. It's finally here. It's like, yes, this one is so good. <laughs> what were you saying? Oh, this is like the Dark Knight Rise, what the Dark Knight Rises should have been. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, no, it's it like... Same. This feels like a Christopher Nolan movie, this episode in particular. Like, I, it reminds me of that scene where the Joker was taking out everybody in the middle of the movie, and, like, you know, they get all the councilmen in this episode. Yeah, I want the councilwoman to open up an envelope that says up, and then, like, she explodes yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, I know we were talking about that. Um, no, yeah, this is... I love this episode, but I, I generally... Yeah, well, I'm not going to go into the whole show yet, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, we'll he, he, he's seen it, he, he knows yeah, uh, what happens, it, but so. yeah, no, what, when, when he comes down, it just says, Citizens of Republic City, you know, but again, wouldn't it suck if he was like, I will get revenge for the cabbage salesman? No, that'd be stupid, you see, Amon is doing his own thing, that's why Dark Knight Rises sucked, but, okay, this isn't Dark Knight Rises, this is what it should have been, and, uh... Yeah, man, just all this shit goes down, and it, here's what I've realized now, because I, I think I, I sort of bitched and moaned a little bit about sort of what the problem was with some of the characters, and I realized specifically, uh, I was just telling him this, anything connected to Tenson's circle, his family, uh, Lynn, even Korra, is good. The, the councilman and, and Tarlagans and all that stuff is really good. I realized anything connected to Korra's circle seems to be where a lot of the faults are, sort of Mako and, uh, what was it, Bolin? Is, is that the name? Bolin. Yeah, uh, Bolin and, uh, and the daughter and the love triangle and stuff. Oh, you keep stuff. asking me, by the way, when I'm the one <laughs> Well, I'm just looking to get you in more trouble. Yeah, you're just, that's, that's what this is. You just want to get me in trouble. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I just, just for anyone wondering, by the way, Soka and Katera. I the, can't believe they fall for Really? The... Really? Dance you guys, puppets, it's like, dance. It's like, this is like we're doing our own blood bending. It's like, you know what, just like we're going to say the names wrong on purpose and they're still gonna be like, you said the names wrong oh, and it's I do. like, like I, I unbelievable literally, i literally have like pronounced it wrong once or twice just to get yeah just to get them people. nuts yeah. it's like, like it is it's like being a bloodbender it's like wow that's power <laughs> i it's i could get drunk don't you know how this. much fun this is for us it's like we said it before like and it's just oh okay okay i love it somebody mind. somebody yesterday is just like well, well, Doug, just make sure that Rob just isn't in, in any of the core yeah, ones. It's like the sure. next, yeah, it's like the next day I'm in one now. I'm just like, enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that's, uh, that was a, that, that was Julie's something special. That, that's something only the stupidity of certain online <laughs> viewers can give you, so, um. Uh, so, just thank you for that. That, that kind of made our week. I just but. want to know, and still, for the record to this very day, that I am not the problem with Suki, though. I told you to pronounce that one right. No, no, no. That, that, that was, was actually some another fan. online viewer some was like, fan. it's Suki. <laughs> but, okay, we're getting really off topic. We're not even on the same show right now. We're, we're talking about Korra. Um, so, yeah, because for me, what I, what I found is that with that team, and again, they're not god-awful or anything. They're just sort of very formulaic and we've seen it and, and even kind of bland uh but it's special with the love triangle because i always see like every single time i'm really getting into it, it's like so do you have feelings for cora and it's just like oh shut up the city's blowing up can we go you back know, to that and it just I, it, it drives me nuts and it, it could be worse but it still drives me it nuts. could be way worse i thought it for the most part it was pretty unintrusive i'm like you know when it's all said and done like Maybe it's because I've sat through a lot more bad anime than you have, but I'm like, for a love triangle, because I thought the same thing. Initially, I was like, Iceberg right ahead, 
turn around, this is gonna suck, and I'm like, when it's all said and done, like, what are we on, 10 now, episode 10, 9? Yeah. Um, it, it's not that intrusive. It, I'm like, it is if, to me. if it focused so much on it, I'd probably be more annoyed, but it... You see, if they stopped at that one episode where it began, and it's like, okay, and, we, we, we picked our mates and everything, and let's yes. go here, it's like, it, I would have been okay. I was like, well, that was a little annoying, but whatever. But they're still keeping it going, and, and it's not needed. Yeah, but the other thing is, again, sitting through love triangles that have been really, really, really god-awful... The characters are not at least a complete waste. No, like, but they're they're kind of they're semi yes, bland. Mako, too. Yes, Mako is a little bland. The daughter could be interesting if they she, gave her more, but she's uh, sort of rushed. Yeah, but here's the thing: they're not bad though. No, I mean, they're, they're they don't not bad. annoy me. Yeah, they're I, they're not obnoxious. But I at think the same time, perfectly reasonable characters. But aren't you constantly saying, "God, what's going on with Tenson? What's going on with Lin? What's going on with hell? The kids, Tenson's kids." Who really kick ass in this episode, by the way. I could use more with Tenson. Yes. Kids, um, but... Okay, the fart the bend... we Okay, hold on. Hold on. The, the fart bending is really god stupid, but you know what? I'll take that over the fucking love triangle any day. I'd watch, like, a whole half hour of fart bending over any of we that love triangle. We send all your trollish comments. Care of that guy with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's stupid, but You're I'm gonna just. You're going to get slack like, for that one. What, I've the fart bending? Oh, I've had so many people be like, you're going to believe what they did. They have fart bending in this Oh, it's so bending. stupid. I'd much rather have that over the love triangle. <laughs> any day. Um, I, again, I'm not a huge fan of it, I, but I. It is what it is. I just don't think it's that bad. It, it, but you bring up, okay, you do bring up a good point. The creators of this show, the writers of the show, I think this may be the issue. They're really good at this sort of high fantasy, Asian-influenced, uh, Taoist kind of philosophical Zen thing. They may just not... It may be a write what you know. They, you know. they may just not be good at writing, you know, teen romances as well as they are that. Um. Well, you know, and it sounded like I was watching on behind the scenes. See, now I'm trying to read up on all this behind the scenes stuff on Avatar and the creators and stuff like that. And it seemed like they were saying, look, we love, like you said, the whole Taoist thing, the Zen thing, and Asian philosophy. Uh, but we also do sort of like just typical... American young bullshit. You know, they say, we, we like this stuff too, and we like to incorporate it. And a lot of times it's worked in very well. You know, here it just seems like, especially for something that's supposed to be more adult, it just seems like this big step backwards. Well, um, I will say this though. The most. I think Kara's a. Kara. Cora. <laughs> Cora. Yeah, now they're gonna say, you baby, Kara! That was a slip of the tongue. I believe Cora is a pretty adult. I think she's mostly a pretty adult character. I mean, she has mistakes, you know. She well, in own. that, they're I, showing what she's going through. They're showing that yeah, age pretty I mean, she's, well. She's a teenager, so they're yeah, showing they, they the age. Yeah, they got that. I think, though, these guys are really, really good at writing adult characters. And the kids in the in the Avatar The Last Airbender had sort of an adult side to them. Like, they treated the characters yeah, very they seriously. They went through their own story arcs, you know. They had to learn things. And I think we see that here. It's like Tenzin, Lin Bei Fong. Like, those are the two most adult characters in this show for me. Like, Lin Bei Fong and Tenzin in particular, we were talking about this, how they have the most adult relationship, you know? Yeah, they, they used do. to go and they out, had a there's love triangle. Baggage. Yeah, they had a love and triangle. And that worked so much baggage. better. They're, you get this idea of the history, like, and... What an interesting character, too, because I was thinking, uh, I've been talking online about strong female characters. Here's one I don't see a lot. The strong, middle-aged woman. I was going to say, you yeah, do like, not see it. Maybe even older. And, yeah. And I she mean, totally kicks Tenzin ass. And, and, and again, Lin doesn't register at all. old. Yeah. Like, they're late middle-aged, they look like. She's getting gray hair. He's bald. And, you know, he, they... Well, to be fair, I think well, he's I shaved him, but yes. I mean, <laughs> he, he's definitely old. So, yeah, I just... That's great. I just never see that that much. And I was like, and I totally well, buy I, it. I totally yeah. buy it. When and, she and kicks a, uh, ass, I'm like, I believe it. In a family show, too, where, you know, like the... And it's not like, oh, isn't that funny, so an older lady swinging around and kicking ass. No, it's like, legit. And you totally buy it. And I, I really like that, too. I thought that was really cool. So, you know, they did so great for younger uh, younger characters. And now they're doing even better with uh, uh, older characters as well. Yeah, so I think they're really good at writing adult characters. And I think they're good at writing 
kid characters in an adult sort of way. Kid this characters may, in this, adult this situation. This may just be, you know, and I don't want to say this is their kryptonite because I still think it's a good show, but this may just be the, the weaker thing in all of the things they're doing that maybe this was the one thing that, yeah, they're not quite as strong at it as they were these other characters. So. Yeah, and I... Or it, maybe just not as interested in it. Maybe they're just like, yeah, you know, we wanted to do a romance, but it may not be our thing. Like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, and, and sort of the same thing with the pro bending. It's like anything just sort of tied in with that world. It's like, it's not god-awful. I always want to emphasize that. Like, it doesn't make this a bad show. Oh, I it's disagree still with that. Good. I think they really liked pro bending, thought it was cool, and that's why they Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm sure they did. I'm just saying, again, anything connected with that world, it's like, at first it's kind of cool, but then, like, three or four episodes, it's like... God, come oh, on, get get to, no. get to the stuff we had in this episode. I couldn't get enough of the pro bending. Oh, God, no. change the set, do something different. I was just so sick of looking at those same colors, and it's like, because at first it's awesome, but like four episodes in, come on, give me something else. I was so happy when the mom came in and said, fuck this bullshit, I'm taking away your bending so these games are over. I'm like, yes! <laughs> I mean, I was just so looking forward to that. I'll bet uh, you hated Quidditch, too. I did! I fucking hated Quidditch! And so did you, don't act like Actually, you did. Actually, I did, yeah. but... Um, that's different, that was seven movies. At least this is 12 episodes. <laughs> yeah, but this is, yeah, but this is four episodes out of the 12. That's practically seven movies. <laughs> um, so, okay, but we're getting sidetracked. Mm -hmm. uh, but bottom but the bending was cooler than Quidditch. <laughs> yes, I agree, but that's not that big of... <laughs> Regardless. Uh, episode's awesome. Talk about the ending real fast. Uh, once you hear Dante Bosco's voice come out, I'm just like, fuck you! <laughs> it's just, and you see that fleet, and it's like, I was oh, waiting for his reaction. I was like, this prepare is, for epic. This is what I was waiting for. It's like, and it finally got there. I'm just like, thank you, show. Thank you. It, you know, I was saying it before, it's like, the show is made. It's done. And the same thing with Avatar, though. It's like, it's almost like somehow they can hear the vlogs, because I'm like, I really like it if they do this. And then they go and do it somehow. It's like, I, I don't know if they have a time machine or if my opinion is important enough to get a time machine to come back and do, change it. I... It, it, it could be. Favorite episode so far, man, by far. There, there, there's two left. I, I hope they're just as good, because I... Uh, man, did I like this episode. This was really, really good stuff. So, um, yeah. See you at the next one.